Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Batman Arkham video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a pretty highly requested video. We've gone over ranking all the suits in Batman Arkham Knight. We've gone over ranking the suits in Batman Arkham City. And there's really only one other Batman Arkham game that has a ton of alternate suits to choose from, and that is Arkham Origins. So we're going to be ranking those suits today. Before we do so, though, if you still love Batman Arkham Origins, if you think that this is one of the most underappreciated games ever in the superhero genre especially, well, then scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your love for Batman Arkham Origins with me. If you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all Batman game related things, you know, we got Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League on the way from Rock City next year, and then Gotham Knights from WB Montreal coming out later this year. I got you covered on those games. So subscribe, turn on those notifications, you'll be immediately notified when a video goes live. And listen, making these videos is no easy task, okay? It's quite a bit of work that goes into this. It's a lot of sitting down and editing and recording, so I need me a good chair to be able to do all this stuff, something that's comfortable, which brings me to today's sponsor, which is these guys right here, Cybart. Listen, this chair is sturdy, it is nice, it's got good back support, the armrests here are fully customized, you can move everything around and shape it to the way that you see fit. Not to mention, I got myself here the Batman chair. That's right, this is actually based off the movie. Boom! Oh, look at that! That's some good stuff right there. That's some amazing designs, and you can find more of these on their website. The link's in the description. So I really don't know what you're waiting for. Check out Cybar. Check out all their chairs. They have mouse pads. They have phone cases, all sorts of fun stuff like that with some incredible designs, including the awesome chair based on the Batman that I am sitting in right now. Use code Caboose at checkout. The link's in the description. Thank you to Cybar for sending this chair and for sponsoring the video. With that being said, let's jump into the list. Okay, coming in at the very bottom, the 20th spot here on the list, we have the Dark Knight of the Round Table suit. Let's be honest here, this is a cool concept for a suit, but it doesn't work in any way, shape, or form. Again, I like the idea of a medieval Batman wearing a literal knight's armor, but it's a little too out there and not something I've ever had the urge to use at all during my playthroughs of the game. If you like it, that's great, more power to you, it's just not for me. I like some of the blue that's in there, and the armor is okay looking, but again, it's just way too out there. I just, I can't find myself ever wanting to use it. Following that, at number 19, I have the Gotham by Gaslight skin. Yeah, another suit that has some super interesting lore behind it, but not quite my tempo. I dig the cowl, and funny enough, it seems like maybe they based the cowl for Robert Pattinson's Batman suit on this, mainly because of the stitching, but overall, I'm not going to be picking up the Gotham by Gaslight skin and using it in any challenge maps or through any free roaming that I want to do in the game at any point. A pretty decent cowl and I like the collared look, but besides that, there's nothing going on with this suit that I very much like. Then at number 18, I have the Red Sun Batman. This suit is actually pretty cool. I like what they did with the overall design and especially the way that they incorporated the winter clothing into the cowl and the suit as a whole. I think it makes Batman look a little too beefy though, in my opinion, and that logo on the chest looks a little Little weird actually it seems like maybe that's where the inspiration for the bat symbol in the dark knight films came from except this suit is not as sharp with it the gliding also does that weird hand sticking out thing which you may remember from some of the suits that i went over in batman arkham knight but we'll talk more about that later on in this video and why actually that happens in this game but yeah red sun batman a little better than especially the bottom two on the list but still not the one that i'm going to be itching to use at number 17 i have the noel skin i've already talked about this suit at length in my arkham knight suit ranking video but again i'll say that this is for the most part a good suit that i don't mind using i just think that the abs are a little weird i like the cowl i think the bat symbol is all right and it also works better in Origins due to the game taking place during the holidays slash wintry season, as of course the comic run has some amazing Batman in the winter imagery. So it's a good suit, not a great suit, but I think from here on out, it's all stuff I'm a pretty big fan of. Which is funny because the same sort of applied when I was doing my Arkham Knight ranking, this is kind of the suit that's just on the fence between being something I don't like and being something that I very much like. Moving on from that though, at number 16, I have the Thrill Killer Batman skin. This suit is pretty awesome mainly because it tries something different from what we've seen in alternate bat suits it has a deeper yellow that's almost closer to orange mixed with a mainly all black look and i think it's sweet as hell the bat symbol also looks great but the only slight very minor nitpicks i have are the sleeves on the arm and the legs and the covering up of the chin who would dare want to hide the chad chin of batman what a disgrace 
Jokes aside though, I think I prefer cowls that have the chin exposed for Batman, but if we're talking about the Flash, yeah, cover up that chin. It works for the Flash, but not for Batman. I think the belt on this suit looks great as well, featuring the classic oval-shaped Bat logo, and overall, it has a bit of that Michael Keaton flair to it. I can't really explain it, but when I'm using this suit, I get the vibes from the Michael Keaton 89 Bat suit. Maybe it's that leather that he has on the arms and the legs. I kind of wish that that covered the suit entirely, except for the logos, of course. But nevertheless, I do think that this is a good suit. And number 15, I have the Injustice Gods Among Us Batman. Batman suit. I'll say this much, I was pleasantly surprised to see the cross promotion between the Arkham games and the Injustice games. Having the Arkham City suit for Batman and Joker in Injustice 1, and then having the Injustice suit for both Batman and Deathstroke in Arkham Origins was really exciting. And the Injustice suit doesn't get enough credit in my opinion, but I wonder what it would look like if WB Montreal took one more longer crack at it. The cowl is weirdly shiny and it looks a tad bit unpolished, but maybe that's just because this game is nearly 10 years old. If the suit made its way into Batman Arkham Knight, I would have gone crazy over it. But regardless, it's a nice addition and I throw it on to free roam here and there. Then at the 14th slot, we have the XE suit. Okay, listen, the context of the suit is is so cool and the cold cold heart dlc is incredible matter of fact i can't really find much negative to say about this suit besides the fact that batman is looking almost uncomfortably big in it like seriously he is a hefty boy in this suit but the heat emanating off of it when you activate the thermal gloves the closed cowl with the white eyes and then having the og batman arkham origin suit sitting underneath that wb montreal nailed we'll talk about that later on in the list make for a sweet alternate look for batman if he was slimmed down just a tiny bit or they managed to change his idol stance to make it feel the weight of the suit it could have been a little bit better. And number 13, we have the Adam West suit. Listen, you can't go wrong with this skin, and thankfully, I've been able to finally use it. Back when Arkham Origins first came out, this suit and another one that we'll get to later were exclusive to the PlayStation 3. But thankfully, some talented members in the Arkham community have found a way to get it to work on PC, and so I was able to see this suit in all its glory on PC for the first time very recently. It's great, it's a classic, and I'm sure for plenty of people, in evokes quite a bit of nostalgia when you use it. I just personally love the color scheme, but of course it's a, it's a little goofy. Seeing Batman rage out in this game's story while wearing this suit can be really funny to watch. And speaking of some goofy suits, at number 12 I got the first appearance skin. I talked about this one once again in my Arkham Knight suit ranking, and I think it's great. I really do. This is the beginnings of Batman in comics, the purple gloves, the wacky cowl with the ears sticking out to the sides, smaller cape, a lot of it works. But damn, just like the Arkham Knight suit, when you're gliding around, his arms are they're just sticking out and it's all funky looking. Funny enough though, it was actually explained to me by someone who worked on the game, who worked at WB Montreal at the time and developed the suits and the looks for them in Batman Arkham Knight as to why the arms stick out. And apparently it was a creative decision. Simon Abib, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, who worked at WB Montreal and is currently at Eidos Montreal and worked on Guardians of the Galaxy explained to me that it was more important to nail down the silhouettes while standing, walking, and fighting instead of gliding. So the cape was more narrow and didn't fan out as much when you were in a glide. I'd imagine the same creative decision that was made on Arkham Knight was made on this suit in Arkham Origins. That doesn't mean I have to like it though, I still think that the arm sticking out looks goofy and I would have much preferred that they would have made it so that the cape would fan out more and that they would just make it so that the cape would wrap around his shoulders so that we can get a proper looking glide. Moving on from that though, just outside of the top 10, we have the new 52 skin. There is a regular version of this suit and a metallic version of the suit that you get when you sign in through WBID, which you no longer can do. So shoutouts to modders once again for being able to help me get this suit in the game. Cause I think I prefer the metallic version a little more than the regular new 52 skin because I like that black and gray. You guys know me, black and gray, that is how you should do Batman right there. And listen, this suit is nice. The cowl looks great, the bat symbol is sweet, and it's just a very traditional bat suit. Not trying too hard, doesn't change up much of the iconography of Batman. Sometimes simple is what's best, and this suit exemplifies that. Also, once again, you can definitely tell where the filmmakers were looking when designing the suit for the Batman because the cowl in the new 52 suit 
looks very similar. All right, here we go now. Top 10 time. There are so many insanely good suits in this game, so everything from here really could have flip-flopped around. At number 10, though, I have the Vigilante Bruce Wayne suit. You're damn right I'm including the looks from the Initiation DLC, because that DLC kicks ass. It is super underrated, and the fact that you can use these in challenge maps is dope. Having a skin for Batman that is literally just him as a ninja is just about as cool as it gets. Just wish we could have somehow used this in free roam in some official capacity without having to use mods. Maybe if you got the Batman Beyond under the arms glider, this could work, mainly because he's still concealing his identity with the vigilante suit. I love it, and I want more fun things like this out of Batman games in the future. It's cool how they changed up the gadgets and the way that you use them, and also changed some of the moves that Batman has because of the fact that this is supposed to be a younger, more inexperienced Batman training with a bunch of martial artists. At number nine, I have the other suit that you use in this DLC, and that is the Initiation Bruce Wayne suit. This one is just another badass ninja suit, except it looks even cooler than the actual ninja suit. I love the idea that Bruce was young and determined, so he's all bruised and battered up. It kicks so much ass, and I'd say I wish you could also use this one in free roam, but I guess it'd make a little less sense considering he's literally exposed as Bruce Wayne, so he'd be giving away his identity to everyone. Still though, I'm sure we could all have suspended a little bit of disbelief if they somehow made it so that you could free roam with the suit. It would have been fun. Then at number eight, again, it gets tougher and tougher the more that this list winds down. I have the brightest day slash white lantern Batman suit. What a cool look for Batman, and especially for it to be included in this game. Again, the wintry setting pairs really well with this suit and kind of works with Batman's whole ideology of blending into his surroundings and making it so that his enemies can never see him coming. The Flash is my all-time favorite superhero, but right behind that is Green Lantern. He's always had a special place in my heart and been one of my all-time favorite superheroes as well. So seeing that lore explored in the Arkham games is really awesome. You just rock steady, WB, Montreal, you missed literally the Green Lantern Batman suit. How did you add every other Lantern Batman suit but the Green Lantern one? Come on. Speaking of which, at number eight, I have the Blackest Knight slash Black Lantern Batman suit. Big shout outs again to Rock City and W Montreal for respecting and also appreciating the Batman slash Green Lantern crossover. Just again, minus the actual Green Lantern suit. But I remember being extremely hyped that the Blackest Knight Batman look was included in this game because oh my God, it looks amazing. They just nail that zombie look. Having the Black Lantern logo also sitting on top of the bat symbol, such a nice touch too. Even the way the cape curves at the top of the shoulders, it continues to evoke that Halloween horror vibe. The cape in general, being all scraggly and scratched up and torn, oh my god, it's so cool. And also, RIP Arkham Origins multiplayer, but having to unlock this suit by prestiging and doing all that stuff in the multiplayer, it was very challenging and felt very rewarding. We now move on though to the number six slot, and at number six, we have the Earth 2 Batman suit. I've seen some people online say that they don't really like the suit, but honestly, it really works works for me. Very much dig the armored look here, and I'm actually a huge fan of the bat symbol. I like that it's small and almost Superman Crescent-like. It looks like a real bat about to land and attack its prey. The way it utilizes the classic gray and black with that thick black stripe down the middle is really nice as well, and the gauntlets look crazy. It's also got this metallic shine to it. Just chef kisses all around. I love this costume. It's top five time, and I cannot tell you how tough it was to put this together. I can't lie, Arkham Origins might just have the strongest selection of alternate suits in any of the Batman Arkham games. I don't know, maybe that's a bold statement, but I really like the costumes in this game, and at number five, we're keeping the Earth 2 theme with the Earth 2 Dark Knight skin. The suit was also ranked pretty high on my Arkham Knight suit list, and for good reason. Red and freaking black, man. What a combo for Batman. He looks so damn intimidating. This suit does something ever so slightly different, though, that I think edges it out for me in comparison to the Arkham Knight version of the suit, and it's the fact that the red eyes aren't just these regular old run-of-the-mill glowing red eyes eyes. You can actually see Batman's pupils and their red pupils. It's unreal. It cranks that fear factor up of the suit, 
by a thousand and it's that last little touch the suit needed to be perfected i love it i love it it's so good and number four though we have the arkham origins base suit this is a really great design honestly and i love the story that this suit tells you about the arkham vs batman when you compare this to the rest of the suits in the franchise and i've talked about this before you can tell it's more armored it's a bit bulkier and it informs the player that this is indeed a young inexperienced batman that needs to protect himself a little more in the battlefield even putting that aside though it's still a really nice look for batman there's the normal suit which unfortunately right now i can only get gameplay of the damaged version that has the gray and black look then there's the all black look which they included in arkham knight both are great but you know me the gray and black look is number one well not actually number one on this list but the better of the two options and i've said it once the entire community has said it a million times this game is so underappreciated wb montreal really did a bang up job and if they had more time to polish the game and to perfect it it would no doubt be up there as one of the best superhero games ever made and one of the best in the arkham franchise and who knows maybe someday i'll rank the arkham franchise and make a video about that too but anyways this suit just adds to how well of a job wb montreal did with this game and as we enter the top three that third spot taking the bronze medal is the batman 1 million skin first of all shout out once again to the pc modders who found a way to bypass the wb id nonsense that whole system WB had for their games has been discontinued, and because of that, getting suits like this or other pieces of additional content in other games is no longer possible on console. Anyways, this skin is 15 different kinds of complete badassery. First of all, the color, that purple or maybe periwinkle color on the cowl and the cape. I mean, come on. Then you got the carbon black on the rest of the suit. Wow, wow, wow. I am also in love with the bat symbol, the way it stretches across the chest and wraps around the shoulders, and that cowl, oh my god, the way it has that pointy beak to it, and it gives Batman that constant angry as hell look, seriously, I can't get over the suit, basically it looks like if Batman were a Power Ranger, and I love Power Rangers, and I love Batman. So this is a 10 out of 10 for me. And now I'd say I had a tough time with the last two, but in all honesty, I was dead set when I first started writing the script for this list on what I would have at number two and number one. And at number two, I have the Jean-Paul Valley Azrael Batman skin. I've mentioned this earlier in the video, but this suit and the Adam West Batman suit were originally only available on PlayStation 3 exclusively. I was incredibly jealous and a little bitter and upset. I had an Xbox 360 at the time and was only a little kid who was scared to ask their parents if they could buy me another expensive gaming console, let alone just so I could use one skin in this Batman game I really liked. So I never got to use it until I made this video. PC modders, specifically Mr. Jag, are absolute godsends to this community and provided me the chance to try out one of my all-time favorite bat suits from one of my all-time favorite graphic novels slash Batman runs, being of course Batman Nightfall. Nightfall is the iconic run in which Batman gets his back broken by Bane, and while out of commission, the unhinged John Paul Valley, aka Azrael, took on the vigilante role with a totally 90s look, filled with pouches and pockets and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. It also has a bit of an Alex Ross look to it with the armor, the cowl and the colors and the way it looks, especially in this game, truly spectacular. The only thing this suit is missing is a cool bat symbol, but everything else is so exceptionally good in my opinion that I'm completely okay with giving it a pass in that regard. WB Montreal, you nailed it with a 3D render and should be proud of yourselves for how good you made this suit look. And Nightfall meant so much to me as a kid that when I was in my English class in high school and had to write an essay in a book, I begged my teacher to write the essay on the Nightfall graphic novel, and thankfully I was allowed to. So it was a very special suit to me, and that was a very special time in my life, and I was so bummed out that I never got to use it because I didn't have a PlayStation 3. Moving on now though, if you played Arkham Origins a lot, then it's fairly easy to guess what my number one suit is. So let's skip the suspense. This suit comes from another one of my favorite comic runs slash graphic novels, and the more that I think about it, it might honestly be my favorite bat suit ever made and that's the long halloween bat suit you've heard me talk quite a bit almost to exhaustion about how much i love the gray and black look for batman but man oh man the navy slash dark blue and gray with the black bat symbol that right there is what i think batman should look like 
there is yet to be a live action Batman film to even dare to attempt to make a suit with these colors and take itself seriously. And I hope that Matt Reeves will be the one to do it in the next Batman film that he's planning to make. It's simply perfect. Everything about it, top to bottom, all the way around, is exactly what I love about Batman and how well this character can be designed. It's the best suit in the entire Arkham franchise, no doubt about it. Every Batman game where Batman is playable from here on out needs to have this suit in their game. And if by some chance, although I doubt it, Batman is playable in Gotham Knights, I really hope that this is one of his alternate looks that we can rock. That cape too, when you're in a glide, it just looks sick. Yeah, easily my number one, easily. Like I said, when I first wrote this script, I was like, number one, long Halloween suit. No matter what, I was not changing that. And there you have it. That is my list of suits ranked from worst to best in Batman Arkham Origins. I hope I didn't miss anything, but if I did, please let me know in the comments and I'll let you know my thoughts on it accordingly. And the best part about this is, as I always mentioned, you don't have to agree with my opinion. In fact, I encourage that you don't agree with me. I want you to sound off in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts and rank the suits in Batman Arkham Origin yourself from worst to best. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.